Archangels is another Tokyo Pop translated comic. It's less famous than most of their publications, but unfortunately just as hard to cut high nowadays. I wish I could have covered it a little earlier, but I'm still going to cover it now, as you might be able to find it second hand or in a library somewhere. From a small lake at the edge of town, three young girls have emerged. Shem, Hamu and Japheth, sisters from another world. Equipped with magical powers, they must save the Earth from extinction. However, there is something sinister trying to stop them, and on top of saving our world, these magical girls have to live like normal human girls. They go to school, hang around with friends, and even fall in love. Sang Sun Park, the creator of the Tarot Cafe, has created an unforgettable shoujo fantasy adventure. So, uh, what is this? Well, it's an eco-warrior sort of thing. The three main characters have been charged with looking for endangered species and trying to save at least two of each. Noah's Ark style. But we're not in for a lecture on the importance of being green or sustainable here. Any eco-friendly message that the story has is more or less lost in the craziness. If you've never read anything from Korea, then this series might come as a bit of a shock to you. Not only are a lot of the usual Korean cliches in place, but the author just assumes that the cliches are a given and uses them without explanation. An example. Despite the fact that they can travel through time and space, the three angels are living in modern-day Korea, posing as schoolchildren. For absolutely no discernible reason at all. Also, one is pretending to be a boy, again, for which no reason is apparent even nor apparent. This frequently happens in Korean manhwa, so it was probably done for some familiarity for people used to the style, but it's a major what-the-fuck moment for everyone else. These join several what-the-fuck moments, such as the fact that any animal being rescued appears as an anthropomorphic human and can talk to the angels, and that the two of the recurring villains appear to be fruits. No, I don't mean gay, I mean literally, they are fruit. But none of the above has actually managed to put you off. And you don't mind something so wacky that Archangels is actually quite good. It's a bit difficult to explain why, when the writing and the direction is sort of all over the place. But I think it's because the writing and the direction are deliberately all over the place. The only real down point is that while the series runs at a very leisurely pace throughout most of its run, as much of the plot as possible is hurriedly wrapped up in the very last chapter, just before the series ends. I can understand that sometimes the series do get cancelled with very little notice, but I think it's a shame as I was quite enjoying this until then, and I would have liked to have seen the intended ending at the author's intended pace.